Welcome to this week's Movie Math, giving you an in-depth analysis of not just the box office for Labor Day weekend, but also for summer 2011. As for the holiday weekend, let's take a quick look as three new releases didn't exactly generate shockwaves across Hollywood. The Help was number one again, and has been such an inspiring sight at the top of the box office, it will be a little sad when Contagion coughs it off the top of the chart next weekend. Next up was The Three Newbies, with The Debt getting a second wind on Saturday to surge past Apollo 18, which had dominated on Friday. That means Hollywood it girl Jessica Chastain appears in the top two movies of the frame, giving some legitimacy to her hype. As for the rest of the box office, everyone held surprisingly steady, with the largest drop being 40% for Don't Be Afraid of the Dark. Now, as for the entire summer movie season, as always, there were winners and there were losers. The most obvious winners were the final Harry Potter movie, Transformers 3 and Pirates 4, all of which passed the one billion mark at the box office worldwide. And while some other franchises didn't break the billion barrier, they still did healthy business, such as the Smurfs, Rise of the Planet of the Apes, X-Men First Class, and Marvel's Avengers Countdown. Raunchy comedies were also all the rage, with The Hangover 2 and Horrible Bosses, and for the first time, the ladies joined the party as well, with Bridesmaids and Bad Teacher. And lo and behold, original movies also impressed with The Help and Midnight in Paris. As for the biggest losers, Warner Brothers saw Little Green from Green Lantern, and Ryan Reynolds stumbled again just a month later with The Change-Up. Furthermore, Cowboys and Aliens was certainly not one for the history books, while Kevin James proved with Zookeeper that perhaps Paul Bart Mall Cop was a fluke. Yeah, some pretty big losers there. And when movies take a dive in Hollywood, people are quick to point fingers. But are they pointing those fingers at you? Over the weekend, the New York Times ran a real head-scratcher of an article, noting that for the fourth summer in a row, movie ticket sales were down. As usual, the experts tried to discern the mystifying motivations of the moviegoer, and blamed everything from the economy to sequels to fading movie stars. But I say let's cut to the chase and just ask, why aren't you going to the movies as much these days? As for Hollywood's theories, they simply don't hold up. The economy? The movies are an escape and always thrive during rough economic patches. Case in point, the Great Depression, when movie ticket sales shot up through the roof. As for sequels, the top six grossing movies of the year are sequels. And finally, movie stars are not on the decline. Johnny Depp, Leonardo DiCaprio, and Robert Downey Jr. sell tickets. No, what's on the decline are screenwriters. As the industry becomes more and more front-loaded, meaning that a movie is defined by its opening weekend gross, Hollywood is more concerned with the pitch than the product. Whereas it used to be there were big movies and small movies, all good, there are now quality movies and crap movies. When anyone argues this point to Hollywood, the suits argue that we like crap or can't tell the difference between quality and crap. And they point to movies like Fast Five to make their point. But while it's fun to joke about how Fast Five was likely written by a five-year-old, the truth is it was a fun movie to watch. And it wasn't written by a five-year-old. It was written, directed, acted, put together by a whole team of professionals. Who delivered? So perhaps if Hollywood stopped looking down its nose at its product and its audience, they could rebuild the trust they once had with that audience and see ticket sales increase. And that trust comes from putting out good product, and good product starts with good screenwriters. Remember when people used to buy screenplays as reading material? They were that good? What's the last movie put out by Hollywood worthy of that honor? I'm Grace Randolph, and we just did some movie math. As always, thanks for watching.